hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel today's topic is about a closer look at underscore and underscore before going into details of this topic i'd like to give a very brief introduction underscore and underscore and underscore error underscore are automatic variables they are created during data step and they are available during PDV only. They are not written to output data set. Put statement writes text and variables to log. And the final point here I want to mention here is put underscore all underscore writes all the variables to log. Now that we have this introduction, we can dive into the topic. To understand underscore and underscore, what here I am doing is I am taking an example wherein I am reading data from data lines and you can see this example over here. In here I have data ABC and I am also having input and the variable name here I have given is var and I am trying to capture these variables in the log by using put underscore all underscore. What this does is it writes all the variables to log. Here we have var and two other automatic variables that is underscore error underscore and underscore and underscore. We are not interested in underscore error underscore and I will not be discussing anything about underscore error underscore but I will be discussing about underscore and underscore. Once we run this data step, this is what we are going to see in the log. Here we see our variable var and also we will be also seeing underscore and underscore and here we see that underscore and underscore starts with one for the first observation and for the second observation it has a value of two and for the third observation it has a value of three. More than often a novice SAS programmer thinks that it is number of observation. In fact it is not number of observations but it is number of data step iteration wherein the data step iteration value starts with one and increments by one for each iteration. Now that we have said that it is number of data step iterations, we need to know what exactly is a data step iteration. To understand this, what I have done is I have used two put statements in the same data step which I have shown you earlier wherein I have a put statement before input and also I have another put statement after the input. The reason to have two put statements one before input statement and one after input statement is this. We need to see what happens before an observation is read and what happens after observation is read. If we run this data step, these are the results we are going to see in the log. In fact, I have pasted the results from the log here. Here, for the very first observation, before the data is read with the input statement, we can see that the value of var is missing and the value of underscore and underscore equal to one. And once input step is done, it reads this observation and the value of var is now 10 and underscore and underscore equal to 1. So once the data is read through input statement, it is written back to the data set. Here the data set is ABC. This process of reading an observation and writing it back to the data set is what is known as data step iteration. Now once the first observation is read, what happens is it starts the next iteration where underscore and underscore is equal to 2 and var again goes to missing and then it reads second observation and it writes back to SAS data set. And the second iteration is done in the same case it does with the third iteration and it also starts 
for the fourth iteration but as soon as it wants to read the data there is no more data so the data step iteration stops from here we see that we have three iterations that is why we have value of 1 2 and 3 in here here i want to tell couple of things in the case of reading from data lines or from external files always variable goes to missing and it reads an observation and another point i want to mention is this never happens with the case of underscore and underscore it never goes to missing and i want to reiterate one more point a data step iteration is nothing more than reading one observation and writing it back to the data set now let us read the data through a do loop and here the code is pretty much similar to what we have previously other than here we are doing our input statement in a do loop wherein i am saying do i equal to 1 to 3 and also i am additionally using an output statement to output all the rows and then everything else is same here i have put statement before input statement and also i have put statement after my input statement so once we run this code we are going to see the following result in the log and it looks entirely different from what we have seen previously now let us try to understand this slowly here when the first iteration start that is underscore and underscore is one our variable var is missing and then it enters the do loop and once it enters the do loop it reads the first row in the do loop when i is 1 it reads 10 and it outputs and it again goes to the input statement and again reads 20 and again reads 30 once i is 3 it no longer loops through and once it has read through all the three observations it writes back to the data set so this is pretty much different than what we have seen the difference here is reading all three observations at once and then writing those three observations back to the data set instead of writing observation by observation what we have seen previously and also here we can see that underscore and underscore is equal to one it has not changed because there is no data step iteration more than once because we are writing all of these observations only once unlike what we have seen before this clearly indicates that underscore and underscore is all about data step iteration it is not about number of observations because in both the cases number of observations are three now let us quickly compare the reading the same data with and without do loop this is the log which we have discussed previously wherein we are reading three observations and you, here you can see underscore and underscore is one two and three whereas when we read through data through a do loop underscore and underscore is equal to one so this clearly indicates that underscore and underscore is not observation number but it is number of data step iterations now that we have understood that whenever we process data not in a do loop always data is written back to sas data set whereas in the case of do loop that is not the case so when dealing with the large data sets it is often efficient to process the data in a do loop 
because when we are using do loop we are not writing the data back to data set for each iteration so this will help us to decrease lot of overhead that's all for this topic if you have liked this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you